We've talked about how to edit a product photo in Picnic and how to crop and resize the photo effectively. And now we want to make sure that this photo is going to look really great in an Etsy listing and particularly in the thumbnail squares. So one last little trick that I love and I think you'll enjoy this as well. Let's come back quickly to Etsy just a moment. You'll remember that a few moments ago I mentioned that each of these thumbnails become squares and it's important that what is in this large listing area look good over here in the squares. Now notice that this image is not a square. This is a little bit of a rectangle here, but because there's enough room around the edges, it becomes still an effective look over here in the square thumbnail. But some people, when they take an oblong photo, for instance, maybe a vertically cropped photo, it will not look right over here in the square version. And so we want to make sure that yours looks great. And there's an easy way, kind of a fun way to do that. So let's go back to Picnic and I'll show you how. To make sure that your image looks great as a square when it turns into that little thumbnail, we're going to click the Create button. Then we're going to click on Stickers. Now there are all kinds of premium options here, but we don't need any to pay anything to do this. This is a free option here. We're going to click on geometric and then we're going to click on the square. By default a square will be added here. I think it's by default in the middle of your image and it will be black. You can change the color of the square if you wish, but we can leave it black for now. I'm going to pull it up into the upper side of the photo. Make sure it doesn't go off the photo there. Just keep it up there in the corner. And then I'm going to pull the slider down so that it covers a good bit of my product photo. Now the only problem with this is that I can't see my product behind it. So what I'm going to do is a little trick here. I'm going to come over to the box that opened up when I added that square and I'm going to click on the fade slider and I'm going to fade the square so that I can still see the square but I can still see my photo behind it. Now I need to move my square over a little bit and this is what my photo would look like if it were cropped as a square because Etsy will automatically crop it from the center. So I'm going to move this over just slightly so that it's right in the center. That's pretty close. Now this is what my photo will look like as a square and you'll notice that a little corner is cut off and a little bit of my dollar is cut off but a good bit of my photo is still there it's still very easy to tell what the item is you can still tell that it's a zippered pouch and so this is an effective crop for this particular item now again we're going to get rid of that square in just a moment this is just for you to be able to see what your image will look like as a square and again Etsy will crop it as a square from the center of the image so it's important that you move your square to the center and then fade it so that you can see what the image will look like behind. So again, this part would be cut off in the square and this part would be cut off in the square, but you can still see the image. Now what happens if you move your square to the center and it doesn't look right? For instance, what if a good portion of your item is cut off or it just doesn't look like an effective crop? Then you'll need to go back to the crop area and fix that and you may have to click undo several times to get back to that area but that's what you'll need to do if you put a square on top of your image and it does not look effective. Now once you realize that this photo is going to be fine as a square crop you'll just want to get rid of so you'll just click delete the square will go away and then you'll just come back to edit and that will take you back to the area where you were. Again, this undo button is a magical button. It just it will get rid of every single thing that you've done all the way back to your original version if you wish to go all the way back there. So feel free to click that undo button as needed if something that you experiment with doesn't work. Now we just need to save the image. So we're going to click Save and Share. I highly recommend that you save this with a unique name. And I would recommend even that you save it with the title of the image. So I would put Beaded floral coin purse and I'm putting hyphens between each word to make it more readable not underscores but hyphens and then it's automatically going to make it a JPEG file and you'll notice my dimensions here exactly what I want 900 wide by 715 high again this is determined this number here the second number is determined by your ratio and so 
If you go with 900 for the width, you will need 715 for the height. And if you change this to 1000, then this number will change as well. You'll just need to do a little math ratio there. You'll save it as a JPEG. It, by default, Picnic saves it as a size 8, which should be fine for uploading to Etsy. And then you'll save your photo. I hope this set of tutorials has helped you to see an actual example of how to edit a product photo and upload it to sites like Etsy. Good luck as you improve your product photos.